Hello and welcome to our RIA tutorial. My name is Sigrid and today I will show you how to evaluate the quality of a data matrix code that has been directly applied to a highly reflective metallic surface. Many companies face the challenge of verifying and reading codes on those highly reflective metallic surfaces. For reading reliability, they have to control continuously the code quality. We see such DPM codes. DPM stands for direct part marking in automotive industry, in electronic industry, but also in increasingly in medical device sector. Medical devices have a specific marking requirement. All products placed on the market have to bear a worldwide unique number. Those metallic instruments like scissors or tweezers usually have a data matrix code that is directly laser marked. Direct illumination leads often to high disturbing reflectances on those high gloss materials. And laser marked codes usually have a relatively low contrast. So the codes often can only be verified with diffuse illumination. RIA can offer a solution for this with the VeriCube DPM with diffuse dome lighting. Now I will show you how to perform a measurement using our example, the tweezers. In this case, uh, the code lies recessed and so we have to use a camera module that is focused 15 mm above the glass pane. During the measurement, the code must lie in that focused level with a tolerance of about plus minus 2 mm. We recommend using our VeriCube stand, uh, small vise and our focal distance tool. I fix the tweezers in the vise, place the focal distance tool directly above the code and now I can move the very cube downwards in the stand until it almost touches the distance tool. At this point we have reached the focus level, we can remove the distance tool and can go on with the settings in the evaluation software Transwin32. Previously, I configured the evaluation settings for this specific UDI application and saved them in a profile. To select the profile, I choose the icon here in the toolbar with the colored dots. And now I can choose the correct profile. The profile name is also shown here in the display. I can now move the code into the region of the crosshairs. And uh, the green square shows that the software has already identified the code. The outer contour of the square shows the region of interest. That's the measurement area. I can also set a manual region of interest with three points. And also here the outer contour shows the measurement area that also should include uh, the quiet zone of the code. I can now start the measurement uh, by pressing the scan button on the verifier or the verify icon here in the software. The evaluation according to DBM is in process and now uh, the measurement result is displayed very clearly in this case, we have achieved a very good result with a grading of 4A and the green dot uh, indicates a passed result. A red dot would indicate a failed result. We can now uh, print or save uh, the detailed measurement report. With this, the measurement has been completed successfully. This is how to evaluate the quality of a data matrix code that has been applied on a highly reflective metallic surface with our VeriCube DPM with diffuse dome illumination. If you have any questions, please find our contact details below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Yours, Sigrid Liebler.